Hi everyone, A Gantla here. Thank you for joining me for another unboxing and for today, we're gonna unbox this 16 year old kit. So we're gonna unbox the RGM 79 GS or also known as the GM Command Space Type. So this is the mass produced mobile suit by the EFSF. And as you can see, this Command Space Type is actually in red color with some additional booster there for space travel and space fight. This model kit, just like what I said earlier, is a 16 year old kit which is released in 2004 and it was released in October 2004 to be exact. This mobile suit is shown in the anime which is the mobile suit Gundam 0080 war in the pocket so looking at the cover art you can see an image of the gm here and a rear view of the gm there and if you look closely you can see a rick dom here and if i'm not mistaken that's a camper but i'm not sure so if you know what is that mobile so just let me know in the comments so looking at the side of the box you can see the front view and the rear view of the model kit as well as a short description given that this model kit is a little older this description is written in japanese and then here at the side we can see a bottle of the gm space type as well as a rickdom there and again i'm not sure if that's a camper so let me know and then a the name and a short specs about the models there though it's in japanese again at the side you can see the usual side of the box you can see the high grade logo there the series number which is 51 in this case the name and an, an artwork similar to the cover art at the other side you can see that there's images here it's an action image it shows the lightsaber or a beam saber rather and the rifle there there's a short description here and i'm thinking this is a description regarding the model kit or the mobile suit in the anime and then we have the standard warnings and legal stuff in here and if you can see it says 800 here so this model kit costs 800 yen during the time of its release and on the other side it's the same as the other side so you have the Hagri logo there and series number and the artwork or the cover art here so let's see what's inside of the box so inside of the box we have the first runner the second runner and we only have three runners for this model kit so that's the third runner and then we have the manual so the manual is pretty straightforward you have the image there and we're gonna see what's inside of the manual so looking at the manual it's pretty straightforward you have the model kit here it's assembled model kit you have the name the specs of the model suit the logo and the bandai logo it's red now so everything inside would be japanese so similar to the older manual you can see the model kit here with the description regarding the rifle short description about it a description regarding the uh, beam saber and the thruster there so if you can actually read japanese or if you can show me or lead me to where i could translate this manual just let me know so the same artwork from the box you can see the gm here fighting against the rickdom and 
the camper i'm not sure if that's really a camper let me know what's that model suit and the gm command space type here and some line arts so opening this one you can see the standard warnings and runners or runner list to be exact so for this model kit you only have four runners and a pc or polycaps when you open it it's a pretty straightforward instruction or building instruction and i guess everything will be similar to an ordinary gm command type but the only difference would be the uh, the thruster so you have additional thrusters here and the weapon is uh different too if this is similar to the command type this beam saber would be uh fixed to the hands and you don't get the clear parts or you don't get the clear beam saber in here which is an older design and it sucks a little and at the back you can see the image of the built command space type so you can see the beam saber there the rifle the shield and some of the details here and at the bottom it's the color guide so i'm gonna zoom it in even though it's in japanese so if you want those uh conversion or color guide just pause it so that you get the numbers So that's your manual for the command space type. So let's check the runners. So this is runner A and I have a broken piece there just connected around here. So that would be runner A. So runner A is in three colors. You have the red, the gray and the clear parts which is I believe this is the visor. So for the red parts you have the torso, the base of the legs or the base of the feet and the shield there and for the gray you have the command antenna there, you have the backpack, the manipulators and this is I believe the one for the hips and the one for the shield and that's your A runner. Next is the B1 runner. So B1 runner is uh, in white and you have the armors for the manipulator there. You have the head, front and back. You have the armor for the shoulder, the feet, the torso and the armor for the feet. So that's your B1 runner. Next is the B2 runner. So B2 runner is in white color. So you have the bigger part of the shield. You have the leg armor here. You have the side skirt, the back skirt. You have the armor on the limbs or arms and uh, armor on the thigh. And you have the manipulator here with the beam saver. So because this model kit is a little older, this beam saber is actually attached to the manipulator or to the arms which is a downside because you need to recolor this and it's not the same as the modern beam saber which has the clear parts so that's your b2 runner lastly you have the c runner so c runner is in a gray color so you have the weapons here the thruster in your chest the handle for your shield and your booster for your jetpack so that's your c runner and here is the polycaps or pc parts and this one is in the standard gray color so you have all the joints in here and pretty straightforward for the polycaps and that's your polycaps for the command space type lastly we have the foil stickers so we only have six foil stickers so these are the light emitting parts as well as a color correction for 
the beam rifle so that's your fall sticker and that's the unboxing of the gm command space type this is a pretty standard build and pretty straightforward because of the age of the model kit and i think this is going to be similar to the other gms that we built before the only downside that i am seeing with this kit similar to the older gm is the beam saber which is connected to the hands or manipulator if you want to get into gunpla this is a good entry model kit so if you really like gms please pick this up if you see it on your hobby store and if you really like this video please don't forget to subscribe and share it to your friends again thank you for watching and keep building